Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different uh, types of extension. One is an encapsulation, two is how to use glitter acrylic. So uh, before we start with the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification. And if you like this video, obviously, please don't forget to like, share, comment, all those good things. Okay, so now let's begin with the video. I have already prepped my natural nails so it's time for us to apply dehydrator and primer so if you don't know how to prep your nails all my other videos have a detailed explanation on how to prep your nails so once you prep the nails we start with applying a dehydrator so dehydrator basically removes oil moisture from your nail plate because for a long lasting extension having a dry nail bed is very very important okay so next step is to apply a acid free primer so this primer is from a brand called Mia Secret uh, the primer and uh, dehydrator both are from the same brand so primer basically acts as a bonder between the product and your nail plate okay so uh, for any type of extension having a uh, primer on your nail plate is really helpful for a long lasting extension so next step is to apply the nail forms so there are two ways you can do your extension one is using a abs plastic tip or second option is by using a nail form i personally prefer nail forms because it gives like a really compact uh, nail shape and the other benefit is you can uh, you know do nails on any type of nails it doesn't matter how your natural nails nails are if you know how to use a foam you can still build nails whereas in tips you need to have like uh, uh, tips are basically predefined shape right so uh, you can't really expand the size or uh, reduce the size you have to work with the whatever size we have okay that is like kind of a main difference between the two so here today I'm going to uh, start with a clear acrylic so that's what you see on the screen looks like white but it's actually a clear acrylic from the brand called glam and glitz um next uh, uh, we start with our base application so as i said i'm going to first show you how to do a glitter encapsulation i'll be working with a glitter acrylic so whenever we are working with a glitter we need to have like a clear base just imagine you are applying a glitter polish so you always put a base coat because when you remove it it's easy to get it out of your nail plate right similar way we need a base here so i can directly start with the glitter also that is totally fine uh, but i wanted to do like a sandwich kind of application okay so here i'm starting with my free edge creation so as you can see i'm using the clear acrylic now if you see when i uh, release the bead here it did not run so if you are picking up a bead and you are releasing it on the nails and if you see that it's going all over the place that means your liquid powder ratio is way off which means your liquid is too much and your powder is little okay so just uh, with practice you will learn how to control the bead and once you know that then there is no coming back back you can work with any type of acrylic okay so here what I'm doing is I'm gently like connecting the corners and then I'm pulling the um, uh, acrylic towards the length that I wanted to create here so with the forms as you can see on the form there are numbers if you don't know how to have like an identical length for all the nails then you can just refer to the numbers mentioned it and then you can keep the length uh, so for example if you're keeping the length at number four then you can keep on uh, you know having that number four as your um, uh, you know length for all other nails so that way you will have like a uniform shaped uh, nails on all the nails okay so now I laid the clear acrylic as you can see this is how it looks and I put a little bit on the nail plate also very thin layer and now I'm going to start with my glitter application so this glitter powder is from the brand called model ones uh, it's a very beautiful glitter I have like two different types one this is like a burnt rose gold type but the other one I have is like really um goldy gold <laughs> so this is like a quick swatch uh, so you can see this is holographic glitter but it's like a acrylic glitter so i did not mix it but it was a pre-mixed glitter okay so now let's start with the glitter application now remember glitter acrylic will also have like a runny nature okay so normally uh, the way you pick up a bead for the glitter you will have to have like 
less contact time and less monomer on the brush okay otherwise the glitter will run all over the places okay so here i'm a little out of uh, frame but i'm trying to bring it it's very difficult to do on nail especially your ring finger and pinky it's very difficult to record on the camera but here we go i place the glitter over the base that i created i'm gently patting it down so here i did not increase the speed at all so that you can see how i'm working on with this product okay so here i did it uh, i expanded the glitter over the base that i created and if you're happy with this much of glitter on your nails you can stop it right here or if you want to cover it like with more glitter then obviously you can pick up more and add okay so now remember whenever you are working with glitter acrylic okay so uh, make sure you are using a separate brush and a separate uh, what we call dip and dish for your monomer otherwise when you go and take your clear acrylic or any other uh, type of acrylic to like you do a ombre or to encapsulate it then the glitter will be all over the place okay so we don't want that so just make sure that you are using a different brush especially uh, uh, glitter like this one this will like completely uh, get into the brush and then um, there is like glitter all over the place okay so what i'm doing here is slowly i'm just checking wherever the glitter is little then i'm adding more glitter and then i'm just spreading it evenly okay now if you see uh, we have almost uh, finished the free edge now i'm going to build the cuticle area so for the cuticle i'm not going to build like too much of a height because we are going to do encapsulation on top of it so we need to use the clear acrylic also so keep that in mind when you are doing this type of extension with like special kind of acrylic because whenever we need to do the encapsulation we have to make sure that we don't have like much of a height to the nail otherwise you will end up with like a really bulky uh, nail and then you have to keep on filing and by the end of it you are going to remove all the clear and then your glitter is going to be exposed okay so here we have uh, finished with our glitter application next i picked up a clear bead and then i placed it on top of the glitter and i'm going to seal it with my clear acrylic okay so now if you see my clear i have like a very controlled consistency here it's not running uh, so just make sure that uh, we are working a little fast here but otherwise the product will start to get tight and then you won't be able to really move it okay so this was the first nail i did it in this set so um, after finishing it i realized that this was a little on the thicker side than i would like to have it uh, but that's fine we can file it and shape it but this is what i was referring to when we are building the base the glitter we have to make sure that it's not too thick so that when we encapsulate it we have like a really nice compact shape okay so then we don't have to file too much also that will save our time so with this uh, this finger is done now let's move on to the next one for the thumb and pinky i decided to go with some um, you know loose uh, charms uh, basically i used a bunch of autumn leaves with like different iridescent effect so first what i did was same as i did on my other finger i wanted to create a base because on the base i'm going to like you know add my charms okay so if you have like a tip for this kind of work then you can add a like little acrylic and then you can directly start putting your stuff on the uh, acrylic uh, i mean on the top of your uh, tip and then you can like start encapsulating it okay so since i don't have like a base so i started with like a clear base and after that i started applying the charms okay so now the acrylic is still wet and if you think the acrylic started to like harden then you can take little little uh, acrylic and then paste it and then you can keep on adding the stuff or you can use nail glue just put like little little drops and then you can just uh, you know make sure that uh, these things are sticking on to the glue so that when you encapsulate it this doesn't move because whenever we are adding uh, stuff onto the nails we have to make sure that uh, they are not moving because we position them in a certain way so that it looks good after we do the filing and shaping right so we don't want the uh, you know whatever charms we are putting we don't want them to move so either you can use a, a nail glue or you can just keep on adding a little bit of uh, acrylic in between and then you just make sure that they are like stuck to the nails okay not like too sticky stuck to the nails but at least just make sure that they are not moving okay now next i picked up a clear bead and i started encapsulating it as you can see 
um whenever we are doing the cuticle area just make sure that you are holding the fingers a little downward so that the acrylic doesn't get onto the skin and you get like a really clean um what we call cuticle application okay just make sure you have a good architecture here uh, and also make sure that you are you have literally sandwiched whatever we just put into the nails okay so i'm just making sure that um uh, everything is like uh, completely uh, encapsulated inside uh, the clear acrylic so that when i file i have these things inside right otherwise uh, we end up with like half broken pieces of uh, our charms okay so i think with that we have kind of uh, finished uh, the application so i'm just doing the final touches here so this is basically a autumn themed nail so um, i know i'm too early for this but uh, Hey, for the autumn season you can like uh, you know kind of recreate this design if you do please don't forget to tag tag me on instagram my handles are in the uh, description box uh, now we are done with all the application so i'm going to start filing for filing i'm using a 100 180 grit file here started with the side walls since we use the forms um it won't be like a clean edge so we start with the uh, side walls and then we just do a rough filing on the free edge and then we start from the uh, top filing okay so i always start one side full and uh, reach till the middle of the nail and then i start with the other side and then i just blend it okay so for the thumbnails i used my electric file because i wanted to file uh, it a little bit more so for hand file it will take more time but with an electric file it will be faster so i uh, started with my electric file i also wanted to adjust the length a little bit so i'm using a ceramic bit here and uh, i use a uh, 23000 rpm speed here so as you can see i'm just going over um, like the cuticle side wall top side everywhere i'm just running the machine so that i have a, a nice thickness to it and once this is done i will again use my hand file to give it like a final uh, you know finish So with that filing and shaping we are done now i'm using my lint free and alcohol to wipe and clean the nail plate so that's how it looks like um so once this is done it's time for us to do top coat application the best part about uh these kind of designs are that you don't have to spend time on applying gel colors you can directly start with your top coat application so here as you can see i have different nails on different fingers uh, different designs on different fingers so uh here is the top coat application i'm using a no wipe uh, gel top coat so when you do the gel application make sure you have enough product on the um brush uh so that you have like really shiny glossy finish okay after this we can cure it for 60 second and then we are done with that the design is ready this is how it looks like i really loved it and this was there on uh, there for a longer time on my nails and uh, if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification if you have any suggestions comments please feel free to leave that in the comment section if you like to see any particular technique please do let me know if you wish to learn like uh, small small topics please follow me on my instagram and also if you wish to see these tutorials in hindi language please head to my hindi channel link is in the description okay so i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching bye bye